Alright guys, right now she's applying chapstick. <laughs> this is not normally a part of the birthing process, but ashy lips always need to be addressed. So she's having a lot of intense it's like cramping, it's not I don't know if it's I guess it's contractions. Because my stomach is tightening and everything, but these suckers hurt. I don't have any pain medicine this time yet. Not yet, yeah. They um, gave her some medicine that's supposed to help soften my cervix. Yeah. And ripen my cervix. I don't know if you want to say cervix on camera. Yeah, I don't think it would matter. They're gonna give it to her every four hours, or at least come back and check in four hours. I don't know how many yeah. hours it's been so far. I think it's been like two. Yeah. been sleep off and on and the contractions just started happening and her down I don't know it just hurts like crap ow oh stop cussing ouch said I was like half a centimeter when she put the medicine in my vagina that's making me contract right now or medicine in my cervix that's making me contract right now but yeah I'm hungry but I'm just gonna sleep because they're not gonna let me eat at this point um yeah so yeah TTFN. Ta ta for now. Hey guys. So, ooh, I'm in so much pain. But we about to play the game. Just do something to kind of take my mind off the pain. I was kind of standing up and rocking. That was helping a lot with the pain, but. Yeah, we was dancing. Um, and it was it was helping pretty good. So I'll probably get back up in a few, maybe like 30, 30 minutes or an hour or so. Um, we're just gonna play the game a little bit. Um, I'm sleepy, so I might end up going to sleep. I was just, these, these contractions just hurt, so it makes it hard to sleep. But um, yeah, so. We still just counting down the time. Um, I don't know what time she came in and put that thing in. Cause their clock in here is wrong. So I looked at the clock, but I looked at the clock, but then I forgot like the clock was wrong. So it wasn't the actual time. I think she said she was gonna come back in here at, at I was about to say nine something, but it's twelve something. Oh, one something. Oh yeah, yeah. So it was nine something, and she said she was gonna come back at one something. So I have about an hour um, until, like, an hour, hour and a half until they come back in, or until that doctor or nurse comes back in and, and um, puts another one of the medicine tabs in my cervix depending on if it um you know helps dilate me at all so if it didn't help dilate me i think they're gonna put me on pitocin i really don't want to be on pitocin but i definitely want our baby to be here so <laughs> um yeah whatever healthy thing we have to do to get here <clears throat> we're gonna do but yeah we're about to play the game so We'll update y'all next time we get something new going on. All right.
your opinion. Give the people an update, Lisa. As y'all saw in the last scene, I got the I was chugging water. I told you to sip on it. But you were throwing that thing up. You couldn't sip on no water without throwing up. That was a flavored water. That little, oh, the nurse said it would have been any water. Well, she didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> it's funny how none of the professionals know what they talk about. <laughs> well, I will say, say, though, that epidural, I was, I was a little worried for a second. Yeah, because it did not happen like that last time. The life. They always say the last time was different. I guess we learned hard. She learned the hard way. You can learn the hard way because you learned too. I just, I'm not trying to make your pain my pain. Like, you like, I, I just automatically understand it. Like, I know it's, I'm, I want to be respectful and definitely say, no, 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 no. You still experience something I didn't have to experience. And it was a lot. Yeah, but also, it's, it's understandable that you, your pain was me being in pain. Yeah. You know? You ain't like being in pain. Because if you were sitting over there playing your game while I'm over here crying, oh, I dare not. I, I didn't would have been mad. I didn't want to go to sleep half the time. I'm talking about while I was getting that food. That's what I'm saying. I didn't like. I didn't want to go to sleep when nothing was happening, let alone while wow, all that. Sitting here, I feel like she's not coming till tomorrow night or tonight. Either tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't think it's gonna be that long. I've been here for two days. My water hasn't broke yet. By now, my water was broken with Asa. So when when they say the pregnancies are different, they really are. Like the pregnancies and the deliveries and stuff, they different. I don't know if that has to do with gender or, you know, just first, second pregnancy in general or what the case may be. Your body after having one and not having them or not being pregnant for, you know, a couple of years or so. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot. This is definitely an, a very good birth control experience. Because... <laughs> Lord, if it's up to me, I ain't having no more for a very, very long time, if at all. But if Jesus says another one, 
And Jesus said yes. Nobody <laughs> can say no. When Jesus said yes. Yeah. Nobody can say no. Exactly. So, if that's the case, it's okay, but. Chabu. Mm, I never thought about that song in that way. Like, I know we have talked about stuff like that before, but, like, what if he's like, yep, you going to have three more. Oh, no, the devil is a liar. I can't close my legs. They keep floating open, and I don't really like that, but. You want me to close them? <laughs> but yeah guys so that's it for the moment um the last time they changed my cervix i was five centimeters that was at 12 o'clock i think what time is it now babe? it is 6 46 jesus that's a long time ago so yeah um preferably all this contracting and stuff i've been doing i'm at least seven eight centimeters um that would be a blessing but I have a feeling they're gonna probably have to break my water um, yeah but thankfully I have this epidural I heard that when you have to get your water manually broken is it's painful but hopefully it won't be painful since I have the epidural and all that kind of stuff but yeah so that is it at the moment I'm very tired I don't think I slept longer than 20 minutes maybe an hour in the last like seven hours so yeah we will update y'all again soon am I forgetting anything babe? no Hey y'all, so it is, oh, I don't know how what day is what, but today is Wednesday and we going home today y'all. I'm so ready to go home. Uh, we finally got the baby to get where she could just lay there and be sweet. Mm -hmm. and so, Come to find out we weren't feeding her enough. Yeah. Imagine that. You would think we did this, you know, we know what to do, but like, it's so different this time. Because our son currently eats chicken nuggets. So <laughs> like, I put everything about formula out of my brain. <laughs> literally, like, she eats, like, a lot. But also, I think with Asa, we was trying to, or I was trying to exclusively breastfeed. Mm -hmm. So I had all these expectations and all these things I thought I had to do, you know, with Asa. Like, I literally cried when it was time to start um, supplementing with formula because I thought... You know, you're not supposed to do that. We that had a whole stuff. moment in our living room. Like, I felt so bad starting him on formula. But no shade or knock to anybody who's formula feeding their babies because Asa was a formula baby, you know. Um, we, you, we have worries about him gaining weight right now. Like, right, he, so, like, he's so small. Yeah, there was, like, so many different concerns about formula. But we can talk about that in another video. 
but today yeah we're getting ready to go home we talk to everybody that we need to talk to or you know most of them most of them um my doctor came in check me out oh i need to make my appointment i'll do that later i have to make my six week checkup appointment um or our six week checkup but appointment sweet. Um, Cause she'll come back. She'll go to the same one as me. And then, but then we also have to have an appointment set up for her the by the end of the week. Wait, no. So she doesn't have to come here. Asa had to come here because he had to get circumcision. circumcision. Okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah. So it's just me, my checkup. Mm -hmm. And then she'll have one with her pediatrician. If today's Wednesday, by Friday, she'll have her first. They appointment. suggested it by Friday, but it's gonna be whenever they got one available. Honestly. Well, yeah. I mean, every, hopefully. If they have one, our, they yeah, our pediatrician they normally can squeeze you in because oh, really? they always squeeze us in with Asa when he's sick and stuff. Literally, um, yeah. So we have pretty much everything together. Um, I mm -hmm. talked to lactation specialists. We talked to the lactation specialist that we had with Asa, which was really cool because she was very, very helpful. Um, when it came to like what to do and that kind of thing. She gave me a little plan that I can follow. Um, my, my, what's called colostrum, like the stuff that comes before breast milk came in a lot. Liquid gold. Fuller mm -hmm. than last time. And just cause we kind of, you know, went about things differently. Like I said, last time I had so many expectations and thoughts that weren't even in the case. This time I gave myself a lot more grace. Also, Nobody talked to us about anything about having no pump. They gave us a whole pump. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if that's extra. Like you know, if you get charged extra for stuff like that. But like, cause I do see that on the little outside, they got all the charges posted on the door that we that's supposed to get. They call them charges. I'm assuming that's extra stuff. Um, cause every time she get medicine, they scan her bracelet, all that type of stuff. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they gave us a whole pump. Well, I mean, they didn't give us a pump. They, let, like, us they, they let us use a pump. They us use a pump. They didn't say nothing like last time. It was everything we you know it had get to out be with hand your hand. Yeah. And, or the baby would get it and don't worry about it because he still got amniotic fluid in his stomach the size of a mar all this stuff. I'm just like mind you, we at the same hospital. Right. So I don't know what it was, but this time <clears throat> I gave myself a lot more grace. I wasn't stressing about you know um, breastfeeding so much we supplemented with formula mm -hmm. um even now we've been supplementing with formula until my milk is fully coming in then we'll try to supplement with my breast milk so basically we'll always put her to my breast let her feed and then if she's still hungry give her like milk that we've had in store like in our fridge or freezer store it up um, but if she gets full off my breast you know then I, we'll just let her sleep or whatever i'll pump you know that kind of stuff so it's ways to do what we want to do without stressing myself, breaking my back, and hurting my body like I did with mm -hmm. Asa. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to meet, I don't want to say unrealistic expectations, yeah. but like expectations that's like okay not to meet type mm -hmm. of thing. Exactly. So yeah, we're just getting ready, um, waiting on the final people to tell us uh, we should have marked when that colostrum. I did. Okay. It's um, four hours from 11. Okay. All right. So we're just waiting on whoever else we need to wait on to get up out of here. I want some wings. So bad. Well, you so, got like at least three people that told you to let you know what you want. I know. That's why I'm, I can't wait. I'm going to get some wings. Um, Later on in the week, I'm going to try to cook this. Uh maybe try to cook it but i really want this chicken casserole that my grandma used to bring home um when i was a little kid and i'm gonna try to make that later on sometime but yeah i got a lot of food that i want to eat but yeah don't lay on your stomach yes i'm gonna lay on my stomach i'm definitely gonna lay on my stomach um, or maybe even flat on your back because you couldn't do eat well you weren't supposed to do either yeah i was man. laying flat on my back feels weird still but um yeah. Well, I guess especially after this experience because you've mostly been on your back. Yeah. With um, all the different checks and stuff they had to do. But yeah, y'all. So, of course, we cannot wait to get with Asa. I miss mm -hmm. him so much. Like We might give y'all a little sneak peek of that interaction. Yeah, definitely. Well, the interaction I'm referring to is when he first meets his sister. He's only yeah. seen her 
on FaceTime, and I don't think he's really understood what's yeah. going on. I don't think he will even when he meets her. I think it's going to be like once he realizes, like, she's not going nowhere. That's yeah. that's what I think. Like I think, days later. Yeah. Type of thing, yeah. Like, she's still here. Like, this little thing still in my house. Why is she here? Right. But I can't wait to see that interaction. I can't wait to just see him. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the longest we've been away from him. Ever. Yeah. It's been a week. It's been a whole. No. It's yeah. We we dropped him off at school. On Wednesday, yep. Mm -hmm. we literally we dropped him off at school last Wednesday. Wednesday morning and we have not mm -hmm. been in face to face contact with him since. since we almost were because we thought we were gonna go to church on Sunday and then ended up going to the hospital Saturday, Saturday night. night yeah. And with mm -hmm. on Saturday he was with my aunt and went to the fair. So he was just out and about and yeah, so we will, well, I just get her thing, sorry. So we will um, probably end this video here because after this, we are just checking out and going home and going to spend time with our family and stuff like that. What's up? Not going home, but oh, is that your light screen thing? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're annoying. But yeah, guys, so uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We tried to give you guys as much as we could between you know get it acclimated again to a newborn and all that stuff but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and always remember we love you god loves you you are loved see you in the next video peace out Bye.